Hello, Internet! With the 2.7 special program, Star has just had their biggest update yet. With one of the biggest news being, we are getting a free 5 star selector for standard 5 star characters, Did Holy crud. And in today's video, I'll be summarizing everything that happened in the special program so you can get hyped up. The first thing that happened will be the new trailer. We first see Fuga the Astral Express, so as we can expect more explanation with the whole deal of Tingyun what happened to her. And secondly, as well, we did see Sunday in Pedacone, seemingly in his ending arc. To know more about them, we gotta wait for the update coming in about a week. After which, we're shown our first new code, which all of the codes will be in the description down below. After that, the live stream showed us Sunday's Kid, which does an array of incredible things. As one of the most anticipated characters, what in the world does he do? In a nutshell, he can use his skill to action advance a character and its summon to take the action immediately. And of course, he also increases the damage dealt of whoever he targets. It is confirmed in the stream that Ling Sha, Topaz, and Jingyuan can all benefit from this action action advanced mechanic. With his ultimate as well, he's able to regenerate energy of one ally and gift them crit damage buff as well. I'll be talking about more about Sunday's Kid in a separate video later, so yeah, do give me a sub if you'd like. Moving on with the live stream, we're instantly showed Fuchs' kit as well. And it turns out as a 5 star in the Hildy character that's of the fire element, she can give her ally break effect increase, ignore weakness with an AoE attack ultimate, and defense reduction as well on the enemies. Again, I'll be breaking it down even further with a separate video, but but this basically means she is a break effect character that can also aid you in terms of doing super break damage. Well, it looks like break effect meta is not going anywhere anytime soon. And to close up with the new characters, we are shown the banner and their rerun. We see Sunday and Jingyuan with phase 1, Fugue and Firefly will be for phase 2. You might be laughing at Jingyuan for a while now, but let me tell you, after Sunday is introduced, you may have to reconsider. With the new characters and banners out the way, there's still a bunch more updates they did reveal. To start us off at the new Trailblazer, mission, which is announced to be the epilogue for Panacone and the prologue for version 3.0. Along with this is the new mission recap function, where you get to watch recaps of previous missions for you to catch up again with the storyline. This would be really good for story skippers, right? And so far, those are all very normal stuff. But from this point on, it is just surprises after surprises because we are greeted with a version 3.0 story teasers. And not only is just a teaser about the story, a lot of new characters are being teased, like this girl, that war god have an ass, this cat girl, the new the Herda, and that is just to name a few. There's so many new characters being shown, just silhouettes of them now, and yeah, I cannot wait to see just who they will be. If you want to watch the whole version story teaser though, you have to check out the live stream, and that'll be it for a version 3.0 teaser in terms of the storyline. Moving up next in the live stream, we are shown with a bunch of updates with our current Astral Express. For starters, there's a new bar now in the Astral Express. A new Trollblazer room as well is unlocked in the second floor of the Astral Express here with a dorm system slash decor system with it. To unlock the system, you have to complete the new event for this room, which allows you to unlock memories with passengers as well. Completing the event will earn you furnitures and Pom Pom's new skin, or basically new outfit. You'll be able to unlock new rooms like a game room, a bathroom with Diao Chu's whatever liquid that is, a tea room, and even a Trailblazer weapon show case. This will change based on your true blazer's path. And let me tell you, you can see a hat when you're on Harmony, which just looks so stupid. Moving forward, the live stream did show us a lot of new events. First of all would be the photography event with March, and upon completing it, you get to invite previous characters that you encountered throughout your journey for a group photo. I wonder if I can bring Kokolia back from the dead for a photo. Moving along will be some updates with the Divergent Universe. There are new occurrences and events now in the Divergent Universe with a 2.7 update, and most importantly, the the save file for Divergent Universe will only reset only once per update now. Currently, it updates pretty much every week, and that is annoying because you have to go through them once again every week just to start farming planar sets again. A very good quality of life change indeed. Coming up next, we are shown the new 2.7 Pure Fiction, where we will experience brand new grit mechanics. This grit mechanic says that when it is full, it grants powerful buffs, and it's basically just a new Pure Fiction buff in a sense. More info will be shown when we actually get it in game though. On top of that, the boss has also been updated so that it is easier now. You see, with the 2.7 update, non-boss enemies will continually refresh after being defeated. This is different because currently, they will stop spawning after you clear enough of them, right? Additionally, they also made an update to the boss's HP itself, where you can reduce the boss's HP by defeating non-boss enemies too. Once the boss dies, you instantly clear the way. So think about it this way, you just have to do a bunch of AoE damage to even the mobs and continuously kill killing them 
in order to get more grit buffs. By doing so, you'll do a lot more damage and you don't even have to focus down on the boss. He will die as long as you do a bunch of AoE damage since they now basically share their HP. This is different from what we have currently because you still have to kill the boss itself after clearing all the mobs for the current Pure Fiction. So yes, this is just a really good buff, guys. Yo, Pure Fiction gets easier now. Speaking of the end game modes, we then are shown updates for the MOC, where the highest quick clear now is increased from stage 7 to stage 9. So they're just gonna save us the hassle of having to clear from 7 to 12. Now we just gotta go from 9 to 12. And that'll be it for the quality of life and mode changes for the version 2.7. But coming up next though, we are shown an interesting update where the game's client size can be reduced because you will be able to delete past assets that you've played through for more space in your device. This is really good for potato PCs owners like myself, or just phone players, right? We just tell you for thinking about your player base. Following up, we are shown the gift of Odyssey, which is the free temples we usually get for every new characters. So yeah, we'll be taking that and get me a Sunday, dude. And finally, we're shown the good old Planar Fisher, which is just a double rewards for capital corrosion as well. We gotta get those relics. There's a lot more characters coming. And that will pretty much be it for the 2.7 update. But here's another surprise in the live stream. We are shown a version 3.0 preview. But in the stream itself, we are shown an introduction for the new path, Remembrance. It is also teased by Albert that the characters in 3.0 will have this path, which I mean, hey, it's pretty predictable, right? The reason why I teased this though is because of how Remembrance path characters work. Based on what it is shown, Path of Remembrance will have something to do with this memo sprite thingy. There's not too much info about what this is, but apparently, if they fight in the same path, which I assume is Remembrance, memo sprite will become an extra ally fighting aside you. From the animation shown on stream, it seems that it can gain buffs along with your allies as well, so it may be considered, say, a different summonable entity or just a different ally as a whole. We might be having a five ally team cop, guys. That's crazy. And to continue with the teasers for version 3.0, in that version, we'll have a new trace material for Remembrance Path characters, and they also mentioned that there will not be any new trace materials for older paths anytime soon. This will be really helpful for us to prepare and farm for coming characters if we already know their paths. The Relic System update for 3.0 also sees a lot of new updates, where we first are introduced Wishful Resin as an item. This is pretty big because Wishful Resin is an item that you can use to customize your substats for your relics. It is shown on stream that you will have to use self modern resin with wishful resin together in order to customize a main stat and substats for a certain relic. Depending on the amount of wishful resins you make, you can customize different amount of substats. It is mentioned that you can obtain wishful resins by converting it from a self modern resin or by obtaining them in a lot of various ways in the future that they will then announce. And that is not all. We have another relic based item in variable dice we introduced in version 3.0, and this die can move enhanced substat rolls to any substats of your choice. It is shown on the stream where it is an old relic that's already fully maxed out, and they are moving the enhancement rolls onto any substats of their personal choosing. This is a godsend to build characters, man. I need that crit rate update. And that is all for the entire update part of everything, to be honest. But they dropped the bombshell at the end of the live stream, as they usually do. They have announced a 5-star selector ticket for regular 5-star characters after version 2.7 is locked. All you gotta do is log in to claim it. Why are we getting this? I will never know, but hey, it's a free 5-star selector ticket. I'll be in for only regular 5-star characters, but it is still a really big deal. This is the best time to start for a lot of people because, well, it's a free 5-star, dude. Who's gonna complain? And yep, I'll be bringing out who's worthy to go for in a separate video. But holy crap, I cannot believe they just gave us a 5-star like that again. And yep, that will conclude the 2.7 live stream. One of the biggest updates we've ever seen. I cannot wait to cover them all. Then do leave a like and subscribe all that, you know, normal jazz. And I will see you in the next video where we cover who do you pull for. And that is all. Take care.